Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thank you for tuning in today and watching this video. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you get all access to my other videos. And importantly, at the end of this month, I am June 28th, I am starting my French uh, Trans Euro Trail trip. And so if you want to get access to uh, and keep up to date with the journey as it happens, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and you'll get access to all the videos and you'll get notifications as and when I post uh, other videos as I go along the trip uh, in France. So uh, look forward to your support on that and welcome you to Billy's Bike Adventures community. For those of you that have subscribed already, thank you. Very much looking forward to sharing the content from the journey with you. So uh, what are we doing today? Well, today I'm gonna talk to you about um, and show you all the kit that I'm gonna be wearing uh, for that particular journey. Now, I'm gonna do a separate video for uh, the kit that I'm gonna pack and take with me. This video is purely about showing you and talking to you about the kit that I'm gonna be wearing and why I chose it. So if that's of some interest, keep watching and let's get into it. So before we get into starting a review of the kit, starting with the outer, outer uh, garments that I'll be wearing, um, I've just changed the way that I've dressed slightly. So typically I would have the, your, your, your normal touring kit, which would be a, um, a Gore-Tex inner lined, a winter lined uh, jacket with the inner removable and pants as well. Um, so previously I've had the Dainese Carve Master kit. Uh, so perfectly great. Um, there's a, a, a link above for the Dainese Carve Master jacket review if you're interested in that. Uh, but I've changed the way that I'm going to be dressing more of a motocross feel. So in the boot pants, uh, motocross boots, uh, motocross jersey, etc., with some waterproof outer. So that's the way I'm going to be dressed for this particular trip. So all the kit is relating to that. So with that in mind, let's get started with the outer shell, my waterproof uh, jacket and pants that I'm going to be taking with me. So keep watching and let's get into it. So let's start with a review of the Moose XCR racing jacket and pants that I've got. Now, um, uh, the reason that I've gone with these is because I was in a adventure shop recently and they showed me this jacket and the benefits, the pros and cons of the jacket. And uh, I really, really liked uh, the design as well as um, uh, the, the material benefits that I would have wearing this jacket on on the trip. So, um, so this is the Moose XCR racing jacket. Um, now, uh, it is uh, the material composition is an outer, the, or the outer garment is 95% nylon, 4% leather, and also 1% elastin. Now, elastin is a, um, it's an elastic polyurethane material used uh, in underwear and other garments. So, um, quite a, uh, a, a um, well used material in this jacket as well. So it's got two layer, it's a two layer sachet, durable and water repellent, breathable in all uh, conditions. So it says on the, on the information. So um, you've got the inner liner breathable and then the outer liner as well. Uh, there's vents to the jacket. Now there's, uh, this jacket is very well vented actually. So you've got two vents in the chest so that they just open there. So you've got these two vents. You've got two vents around uh, the side that wrap around right to the back. So they open up as well. And if I show you the back part of the jacket, those vents wrap around right to the back here as well. So you've got good side and front back ventilation and also an outer, a lower back ventilation so the air has somewhere to release when, um, uh, when you're going at speed and uh, uh, expelling the, the heat within the jacket. So really, really good ventilation. Pockets on this jacket. Two uh, lower side pockets, one chest pocket in here, and you have a pocket on the back as well. Um, but this is this is for um, uh, this is for the jacket to fold up into a bum bag, or if you're in the states, a fanny pack. So I'll show you that in a second. So from that point of view, um, good pockets, chest and lower lower front, good ventilation. Now the uh, the main benefit of this jacket that I wanted is because a it's light, um, very very light compared to, I, I would probably uh, estimate it being the same as a, um, as the Dainese Carve Master without the inner lining um, and without the heavy shoulder pads. So if you, if you were to remove all the, uh, the armor uh, from that jacket and the, the inner um, uh, winter liner, um, you would probably come out uh, a, a, probably around about the same weight. So um, uh, the other benefit to this is the, is the level of waterproof rating that this has. Uh, now, this jacket has a, has a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head um, uh, rating. So um, I'm not going to go through what hydrostatic head is now. There's a card just up above. Uh, click that. That's my uh, tent review. That'll tell you 
uh, what hydrostatic head is, but um, it's the maximum rating, so really, really good, waterproof and uh, durable as well. So really looking forward to trying this out in some pretty uh, intense heavy weather. Uh, the other benefits of this jacket is that um, it, once you've zipped it up, it just closes with magnets. So um, there's magnets uh, all the way along the side of the zip. So once you've zipped up, uh, you've got two poppers, uh, the top and the bottom, but the rest of it is just magnetic. So um, that's a nice little uh, feature of this jacket as well. And of course, you've got the Velcro, uh, the Velcro tighteners for the ends of the sleeves. You've got drawstring bottom of the jacket as well as top of the jacket at the back on the collar and so all in all um, I've, I've used this jacket uh, a couple of times already really really like it really you know don't feel like I'm wearing anything if I'm honest it's very very light non-restrictive and the benefit of this the other benefit of this jacket as well is that when you're on a on a trip such as the uh, Trans Euro Trail this jacket folds up into a bum bag so um, uh, there's your uh, or fanny pack if you're in the US, there's your belt. So the jacket folds up into this space here. You don't have to worry about unpacking it from your luggage on, on the bike. If you uh, are caught in a, in a, a quick rainstorm or, or, or a long shower storm, um, if you need to get access to it very quickly. So you can wear this around your waist and be reassured that uh, it can unpack uh, very, very quickly. So there is the review or initial review of the uh, Moose XCR racing jacket. Looking forward to doing a complete review of this, how this jacket performed uh, when I return from the uh, Trans Euro Trail uh, middle of July. So look forward to that. So here's a look at the XCR racing pants, the Moose racing pants. Uh, so let me just walk you through this. So made of the same uh, material, a two layer nylon sh sh chassis, durable and water repellent, breathable uh, in all conditions. These also have a hydrostatic head rating of 10,000 millimeters. So the highest rating you can get, so you can be assured of staying quite dry in heavy uh, rain, uh, in riding in heavy rain. Uh, now then, so let's talk, let's work from our, uh, the top down first of all. So the waistband, uh, double, double poppered, uh, uh, waistband done up. Uh, you've got Velcro either side to help with a snug fit. Um, this is a size 36. I'm normally a 34, um, but uh, I got 36 just because of uh, the protective gear that I'm going to be wearing. Um, tried them on earlier, and as you can see, uh, it fits absolutely perfectly uh, with the adjustable waistband as well with the Velcro. So it's a really, really good, um, a really good idea to have those on there. So it makes it for a much more comfortable fit. Uh, pockets. You've got two. Uh, pockets is in the standard uh, area that you would have them and they are um, YKK zip so both the jacket and the pants have YKK zippers all over them so um, uh, waterproof zippers so um, two good pockets there you've got two um, uh, top of your thigh pockets as well both with YKK zippers on and on the groin area, you've got a, a vent on either side of the leg in the groin area there as well. Uh, now, I'm just going to uh, move these trousers back up and uh, just extend the, extend the legs out to a nice little feature here in a moment. Um, so working our way down the front of the pants still. So on the inner thigh and lower leg, you've got uh, a leather covering, a le leather covering uh, for uh, um, abrasion and, and uh, wear and tear resistance. So really nice idea um, and uh, will we'll, we'll ensure uh, longevity within, within these pants. So that's the front of the pants. Now if I turn these over, so uh, you've got more vents on the rear, on the rear side of, the, of, of your upper thigh. So two vents there. And uh, as we work our way back down the pants and to the legs, really nice feature that I really, really like about these. So um, the, the lower leg has Velcro straps on the back to secure uh, the uh, the lower legs around your boots. Now um, it has a, a popper with a uh, a long zip for um, to uh, allow easy. That's not good, is it? Oh, just got stuck there. Uh, to to allow um, easy fitting if you have your boots on, you got caught in a rainstorm and you've got, so you need to get your kit on pretty quickly. So um, it's got easy access or easy fitting um, panels here. 
And on the inside, you've got um, um, some gaiters, some water resistant gaiters. They unbutton as well to make sure that you uh, can get your uh, gaiters over uh, the boots if you don't want to take your boots off. So all in all makes getting these pants on over your boots a lot easier so you just need to button up the gaiters now when i bought these i got a super super deal uh, literally more than a hundred pounds off um, and when i popped one of these poppers earlier they actually came off the gaiter so i need to secure that back on uh, and i'm not sure if that's why it was a little bit cheaper than um, uh, what they normally would be but uh, uh, super super deal i'll put a link for all of the kits uh, down below uh, underneath in the description for this video uh, but got a really, really good uh, deal, over £100 off these. Now, once you've got these on over your boots, zip, zip, zip them up. Zip them up over your boots, poppers, and then use the Velcro to tighten a nice snug fit around your boots. A really nice feature that I love about these pants. So that is a quick review of the Moose XCR racing pants and jacket. Really looking forward to giving you my full thoughts on how these performed whilst I'm away. Um, fingers crossed, I might not have to wear them too much, uh, but if I do, rest assured, uh, because I bought these myself, none of the kit that I'm sharing with you today um, uh, has been free of charge, so I'll be giving my honest and uh, frank review of the kit when I come back. So if you're interested in knowing how these performed, um, stay, stay subscribed to the channel, and uh, there'll be a video when I come back on how these actually did. So that's the Moose XCR racing pants and jacket. Right, moving on to the undergarments under my uh, waterproof outer. Now, hopefully I'm not going to be wearing my waterproof outer, so this is the, the garments that um, you're going to see as I ride the bike, uh, more often than not, hopefully. So this is the 2018 KTM Troy Lee Design SD or Streamline Motocross jersey. Bit of a mouthful, that, so, uh, but that's what they call it. Um, and uh, I, I mean, it, it's really obvious what uh, the benefits of this are. Uh, ultra perforated, so it, it's literally perforated everywhere for maximum ventilation. Um, so it, it's also light, breathable material, and it's a, it's a good uh, material mix for um, uh, moisture removal um, from the skin. Um, it, as I said, it's ultra ventilated. Um, the cuffs are preformed. Um, uh, that just helps with uh, maximum comfort and the uh, the back it's a specially designed uh, uh, shirt or, or styling so it's short at the at the front and long at the back and that really just helps with optimum fitting for when you are riding um, there's not much else to say say about the shirt there's a there's some um, uh, some lovely uh, designs on here some nice um, graphics I really like the look of this shirt so looking forward to wearing this um, as a, my main uh, top without uh, the waterproof over. So hopefully you'll see this more often than not. If we look at the back, uh, the, the, no difference to the back. Um, there's some extra padding on the elbows just for uh, additional wear and tear, but uh, that's a bit. So the perforation continues on the back for maximum ventilation. So really nice looking uh, shirt. It is a year old, but um, uh, I don't mind. Very, very happy with how it looks. Looking forward to seeing how it looks on the bike. So onto the pants now. So these are the KTM Pounce in the boot uh, riding pants. Um, fully, venti fully ventilated mesh inner lining um, for max air circulation and cooling. So heavily perforated uh, inner lining. Um, it's got heat proof ab ab and abrasion resistant uh, leather on the uh, knee reinforcements. Uh, micro lock, ratchet lock uh, waistband. So. Um, yeah, if your stomach might be just bulging a little bit, like mine is at the moment, um, it's a ratchet lock, um, so for a, for a really firm and secure uh, um, uh, fastener on the waist, and you've got the zip, and of course you've got the waist that has some elasticity in it as well. Um, leg bottoms without ankle cutoffs, so in the boot design, and uh, um, elastic inserts at the lumbar and vertebrae crotch region. region. So there's your elastic inserts there and on the back. Uh, elastic inserts inside on the crotch as well. So um, a really nice designed uh, pant, I think. Really looking forward to wearing this with the Troy Lee Designs um, motocross jersey. So we come on now to the protective undergarments. Uh, so let me talk about the top first. So I've gone with um, force field body armor. Uh, tried on a, a, a few different uh, types. Uh, this is the one that felt the most comfortable for me. 
Uh, and so um, let me just run through some of the uh, features of this. So this is the force field shirt, uh, level two body armor. Um, it's got a CE2 rating. Um, so what that essentially means is the, um, it is European, uh, or it conforms with European standards. Um, and so CE2 uh, versus CE1 is just uh, the difference between uh, the impact uh, in Newton meters on the areas that are padded. So um, we've got CE2 uh, rating um, elbow pads, chest pads, shoulder pads, and also uh, a solid back pad as well. So uh, very comfortable, um, or very happy I should say, in that uh, I'm gonna be wearing a top that's um, got pretty good uh, rating. Um, it's a side entry zip, obviously, because uh, uh, we don't wanna have to keep uh, uh, removing the uh, chest pad all the time. Um, so this is ideal for use uh, wearing underneath a, an outer jacket or a motocross top like I'm going to be wearing. Um, and uh, the other benefits of this is it's breathable um, and very uh, snug fitting. So the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very uh, elasticated uh, fit, so it, it, it fits really, really snugly. Um, when I'm wearing this, I don't actually, I've worn this a few times, so I don't actually feel like I'm wearing anything, if I'm honest. Um, there's no restriction whatsoever. I don't feel any restriction from the um, from the armor at all um, and I'm very very comfortable in wearing it so um, the pads the inserts are removable so they're removable through uh, the exits there just to make sure that uh, um, you can give this uh, top a good wash every now and then to make sure it, uh, it uh, doesn't stink um, I've worn it a few times now so I might have to give it a wash before I go away but um, that's the top that's the, uh, the sports shirt, as it's called, with the CE2 uh, rating. Let me show you the, uh, the Field Force pants that I'm wearing. So this has a, uh, a CE1 rating. Uh, the pads are just slightly thinner, and the impact uh, requirements on these uh, pads, are the, Newton meet, the Newton meter uh, force is a little bit higher. So um, uh, not as uh, good as the CE2, obviously, but... Um, uh, um, I've got it, got it more for reassurance than anything. And interestingly for me, uh, it's got the, the bum pads um, and sitting on the 690s uh, hard seat, uh, that's gonna give me a little bit extra protection as well, or comfort, I should say. Draw, drawstring uh, waist, uh, hip protectors, and also lumbar region protection as well. So uh, there we have it, the, um, the, sports, the, the force field sports short and shirt, so CE, rating one on the short CE rating two on the um, on the sports shirt so moving on to uh, knee and thigh and shin protection so these uh, these here are the uh, Thor force knee guards uh, they're the black version um, and uh, so let me tell me tell you about some of the features of this so it's a perforated a chassis chassis for support and uh, secure fit uh, it's extended knee protection impact resistance um, is polyurethane uh, knee cup is encap encapsulated in durable aramid fiber for uh, more coverage so um, these actually go nice, a good shin coverage and some uh, above the knee lower thigh uh, coverage on these as well uh, the dual pivot system um, is is really great um, uh, there's it, there's not any restrictions for me when i've worn these and uh, really does help to um, uh, align with the anatomical movement of the knee and the custom invertebrated, inverted uh, post locking system um, it really helps as well so for you've got um, uh, additional straps okay these just uh, pop out you don't no need to undo the velcro and then you've got the wrap around velcro um, straps around the calf muscle and also the upper thigh for a nice snug fit so worn these a few times already. Um, you can feel that you're wearing them, um, but the re reassurance of them uh, is, is, is much better than uh, the discomfort of wearing them. So uh, it's not an issue for me wearing these at all. So that is the, for the Thor Force Knee Guard in black. So now we move on to my uh, motocross boots. So these are the former Terrain TX Enduro motocross boot in black anthrite. Um, so let me talk, talk to you about some of the features of the boot first before I give you my initial thought. So um, lightweight compared to, to others. It's a synthetic upper um, uh, molded uh, upper. Uh, personalized Enduro um, series on the upper as well. As you can see here. 
Um, the extra grip compound on the rubber sole for extra grip, and they do grip really, really well, actually, um, on the, the, my, my Enduro that I'm out on. Um, it's a stitched flex control system. There's a rubber heat protector on uh, the inside of the boot uh, here as well on the sides. Adjustable Velcro, Velcro um, closure on the, on the top. And of course, you've got the, the easy, easy, um, easy release uh, al aluminium uh, buckles or aluminum buckles if you're in uh, the US. Um, rubber or a padded inner lining and also incorporated a steel shank with anti-shock midsole as well on the boot. And of course, you've got this lovely pivot uh, ankle pivot on uh, both sides that uh, allows for a little bit of uh, flexion. Now I've worn these a few times already. This is the first motocross boot I've had actually, so I can't uh, compare at the moment to what other motocross boots are like. I can only talk from a, uh, a first time usage perspective of both this boot and a motocross boot altogether. Um, and the feeling is that um, compared to the, the comfort uh, touring boot that I normally wear, um, this feels big. Um, uh, but reassuringly big, so it comes a, a quite a long way up the front of the of the of the leg. So give good good protection on the front part. The boot feels very big compared to my uh, more comfortable touring boots. But I've already got used to wearing this in terms of the gear shifting and the back brake as well. And uh, not, it was a bit of an issue when I first started. Felt a bit weird and a bit uncomfortable, but uh, I've got used to it now, so uh, not a problem at all. Uh, walking in these boots very comfortable, as you might imagine, with the ankle flexion and the rubber inner and outer sole. Um, it's got the steel toe cap for protection on the front as well. Um, so all in all, I'm very happy with this uh, particular boot so far. Um, I will give a, a complete review of this on, on my return, but um, like I say, my first motocross boot, so I can only go on uh, what my, th my thoughts and feelings are for this particular boot versus others that I've had in terms of motocross boots. So that's the former Terrain TX Enduro boot. So there we have it, that's a review of all the kits that I'm gonna be actually wearing. There will be another video to follow this uh, that'll talk about all the kit that I'm taking and packing with me. Uh, but that was uh, the stuff I'm wearing on my trip. Hopefully I won't have to wear the, the outer shell for the waterproof protection. Um, hopefully it'll, I'll just have that motocross look and feel on my 690 when I'm out riding and that France is not gonna dish up too much soggy weather. So if you wanna know how all of these performed during and after the trip, subscribe to my channel, Billy's Bike Adventures on YouTube and uh, um, you'll get access and notifications as and when I load new videos whilst I'm actually on the journey. So you'll get updates live as I travel along. Um, and of course, there will be more videos to follow on uh, for each of the day um, that I'm away. So a more in-depth uh, review of the day. And of course, there will be a full kit review of when I'm on my return of how all the kit that I've taken with me and, uh, and have worn um, how they actually performed. So stay tuned for that. And as I said, none of the kit has been free. I've paid for it all. Um, so it will be a frank and honest review of all the kit. If you're interested, just keep watching, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to sharing the trip with you very soon.